Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. TJ here for your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. For today's class, you will not need anything, just a mat or the floor, um, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to start off on our backside. And we're gonna do our bridge first. And we're just gonna do a basic bridge. So just making sure your heels are close to your backside and then just pushing the hip up and back down, push the hip up, back down. So when we do this exercise, or at least the next round of it, then I'm gonna throw in a different element or just a different part of the movement just to make it a little more challenging. So squeezing through your hips at the top, Feeling it through the low back. You may feel a little pressure through the top of the knee. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so legs extended, feet together. Hands behind your head. And just doing a basic crunch, nothing, nothing too crazy. So keeping the chin off of the chest and just lifting the shoulders just barely off the ground about maybe three inches. I'm just making sure that we are not pulling on the neck. And keeping those feet together, knees together. Nice job, keep going. So by keeping those feet together and legs together, that we should be feeling it in the lower part of our core. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So we're going to move to where the legs are bent and the feet are flat on the floor. And we're doing that same sort of crunch. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, go. So still keeping your chin off of your chest, imagining like there is a small tennis ball between your chin and your upper chest or kind of like where your collarbone is at. And again, the shoulder blades are just barely coming off the ground. Nice job, keep going, five. Four, three, two, one. All right, relax for a moment. So the last one that we are going to do before we start picking, picking things up, we're going to go feet up at 90 degrees. So just your legs are 90 degrees and that same sort of crunch. Ready, go. Nice job. So still keeping the chin off of the chest. Nice job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. There's actually one more exercise I'm going to do before we actually do pick things up. So we're going to do the penguin. So I'll turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. So your shoulders are just barely floating off the floor. And remember it's this kind of side to side motion. Like you think how penguins would, would walk when they're moving. If you need to support your head, just use one hand and just going back and forth. All right, ready, go. So again, just this side to side motion. And if you want, you could switch hands. If you were supporting your head in any way. Nice job, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so before we move on to the 
the challenge. I just want you to extend your hands overhead and just your feet out in front of you, pointing your toes away from you, feeling that stretch through your core, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Excellent. All right. Okay, so back to the bridge. And this time, as we push the hip up, we are going to come up onto the tiptoes, all right? So if your feet are apart, your knees are apart, when you're doing this, it's a lot easier than feet together, knees together as you push up on your tiptoes, all right? Ready, go. So pushing the hip up, coming up on your tiptoes, squeezing through those glutes, Again, all for the low back. The low back is part of our core. Nice job. Again, trying to keep those heels as close to your backside as best as you can. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now with the lower part, of our core, we're going to take our hands, we're just going to put them kind of next to like our side and kind of cradling our body just so that we're not rocking. But I just want you to lift your feet or hover your feet about six, six inches off the ground. And I just want you to hold it. We're only gonna hold it for 15 seconds, all right? Ready, go. So here's five, 10, three, two, one, down. Nice job. So next time we'll try to hold it just a little longer. All right, so now we're gonna go to the feet flat on the floor with the legs bent. And this time we're going to step, alternating knee to elbow. All right, ready? So 30 seconds, go. Nice job. So again, hands behind the head, not pulling on the neck too much. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, and it does not need to touch. Nice job, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax for a moment, just a few seconds while I explain the next one. So we're gonna go feet up at 90 degrees. And again, you can use a hand to support your head. So I'll switch hands so you can see what I'm doing. As we crunch, either tap the knee, tap the the side of your calf, or if you could reach your ankle, reach your ankle, that's the harder one, all right? Ready, go. So knee or calf or ankle. So it's just that basic feet up crunch. And again, wherever it is you tap, on your leg from like your knee. So from your knee is easier to your ankle is a lot harder just because you're kind of really crunching up. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So let's run through just that stretch. So even though we did the penguin the last time for our obliques, but we did that step up with the crossover crunch, we were hitting obliques there, so we won't do that. All right, so let's go back to the bridge. Same exact thing we were doing the first time, all right? So coming, pushing the hip up, up onto the tiptoes, back down and back up, all right? Ready, go. So again, feet together, knees together. Coming up on those tiptoes, if you are seeking a little bit more of a challenge and trying your best to push equally 
through your feet, moving the hip up and keeping that hip square towards the ceiling or to where it's parallel between the ceiling and the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So this time we're now, instead of our feet, where we are holding our feet six inches off the ground, we are now going to hold that upper part of our body. So just the upper is going to come up. All right. So you're just going to hold it. All right. Ready? Go. And if you want, you could support your head if need be. And so we're just holding, keeping those feet together, knees together. Hold it, hold it, keep going. Again, being mindful of the chin off of the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, down. All right, so let's go back to the opposite elbow, opposite knee. Get ready, go. Excellent job. So again, opposite elbow, opposite knee does not need to touch. It's just that marching motion. If you wanna make it a little more interesting, you could go bicycle where the feet are off the ground. Again, totally up to you. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so the last one that we've got is pretty much the feet up at 90 degrees. And remember, it's either reaching for the side of the knee, the side of the ankle, or the, or sorry, side of the calf or side of the ankle. All right, ready, go. Again, don't be afraid to use a hand to support your head if you need to. Excellent job, you got this, come on. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, legs extended, hands overhead really quick. Just stretching. And again, taking that breath through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. All right, so I want you to now flip it over and we're now going to be facing down. So looking down towards the floor, I will turn your way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you modify, all right? So what I want you to do, it's called up, up, down, down. If you feel like it's a little too much, you could just hold this pillar bridge. Otherwise it's down to the elbows back up onto the hands, all right? So starting with 15 seconds, ready, go. And if you wanna make it challenging, you could go onto the feet. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, sit back into child's pose. Just feeling that stretch through the low back. We're gonna do that one again. Now think about it, um, whichever hand or arm you led off with, try going the opposite one. So try not to lead with your, your dominant arm. So I'm gonna go right, All right? Okay, so get ready, three, two, one, go. So funny story is I write right-handed, but everything that I do is with the left. So strangely enough, my right arm isn't as dominant, 
as my left, even though I'm right-handed. So again, being on the knees is easier than if you were on your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Child's pose really quick. So again, sitting back onto those heels, face down, hands are overhead. I'm gonna make you do it again, one last and final time. All right? Get ready. So either knees or on your feet. Go. So up, up, down, down. And again, if you want, you could just hold that pillar bridge. If you want, you can kind of lead, like if you're leading with your left, you could switch to the right. Keep going. Just to keep things even. You got this. Push, five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose really quick. Sitting back onto those heels, stretching out that low back. Nice job. One last and final one. Give me mini Sphinx where you're face down, pushing the hip into the floor, you're on your elbows, or full on Cobra, where you push through your hands. And just stretching out that core. Nice job, everyone. All right. So just to let you know that the hours for the fitness center have um, been extended. So from 6.30 in the morning till 6 p.m. at night, Tuesday through Thursday. So you can see Caitlin in the morning. Otherwise, stay on for Yoga Sculpt at 12.30. Have a great day, everyone.